Hello, welcome to another Lavinia stamp tutorial. For today's tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to make this lovely card. I've called it Pan Meeting a Hair on a Spring Morning. This is the, this is the items that you will need. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a list at the end of the video so that you can pause when you get to the end of the video and all the details will be there and all the measurements of everything as well okay hope that's okay to start our video i'm going to get my magnetic sheet as i'm using a metallic metal um i mean a metal uh, stencil my card has been cut to 14 point eight centimeters which is half an a4 card that's been cut into a square and i'm just putting it on there to hold it in place so to start with i'm going to use my blue inks that i've chosen the first one i've chosen is blue lagoon and this is for my sky so i'm just going to take my brush and dab it into my ink I'm using the Lavinia brushes because I find them really really nice to use I'm just dabbing my brush on the side and then I'm going to gently using a circular motion go all around the edge of my circle to get coverage blue coverage all around the edge of my circle and I'll go back over myself that way. I'm not pressing hard, I'm just pre pressing really gently. I'll dab, dab up the ink that I've just put on the side there. And go back in and go in more into the centre this time. Try and get an even coverage of the blue ink. Keep going around in a circle until you're happy. Just we just need to press gently. And there we go. Quite happy with that. So I'm going to now get my Della Blue. It's sort of like um like a lavendery type blue and once again I'm going to dab on to the edge of my mat and then once again I'm going to and I'm just going to gently brush across the middle because what I'm trying to do is give a bit of texture to my sky I hope you can see that in the video a little bit more and just go across that area there as well so it looks like there's sort of like some cloudiness in the sky and that's that part done and the next thing to do is to just get a wet wipe or a wet cloth and just clean my mat And then using a piece of kitchen towel, just dry that off so I don't get any wet patches on my ink, my next colour ink that I'm going to use, which will be olive. So I'm using my green brush. I have one for each colour set. So I have one for greens, one for reds, one for blues, um, one for black and one for each colour set. I have two for yellow um, and two for red because I have one for red and one for pink. And this time we're going to use the olive just to do our grassy area so we can ground pan and our rabbit. So as you can see, I'm just doing a little bit at the bottom. So I've gently tapped off my ink again and I'm going to gently brush down onto my card and just using 
a straight across motion. And there we go. That's all we need to do. And I think sometimes you get that effect and it makes it look more like grass. So that's that part done. So once again, I'm going to clean up my ink so I don't get any ink mixed in with any other colours as we don't need that. I can now remove my stencil from my card. Okay, so there is our card started. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ink ink our um, images onto our background. And I'm going to start with pan. I'm gently or carefully just going to mask off the edge of my circle. Just so I don't get no ink onto that area sometimes I get ink on my fingers and I don't realize and I'm going to use my stamping press I'm going to put it in that corner there actually I'm going to put it in that corner there I'm going to hold it in place and the first I'm first I'm going to stamp his pan so I'm looking to get his feet onto the grassy area but I don't want his little basket on a pole to go over the edge of the card so I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to press down on that just to pick him up and then I'll turn Turn my stamping mat so I can ink up pan with Versafine Clear Nocturne. Inking up my image and I've gone over the edge a little bit so I'm just going to wipe off any excess ink around my image so it doesn't go onto my card. I pressed a little bit too hard. Should have been a little more gentle, I think. I'm just going to wipe that off. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to wipe that area off there as well. Sorry about that. I think I came out of shot for that bit. Now I'm just going to press down my image and I'm just pressing on the image, letting that ink soak into the multifarious card. Leave it for a few seconds and lift and then it's not as dark as I would like it so I'm going to oh, some sort of major suction going on there gently ink up my image this time not press down too hard I've just spotted a little bit of ink there from the last one so I want to make sure I don't manage to get that onto my card background and gently once again gently press down on your image let the ink soak into the card and there we go that's the first part of our stamping of our images done. 
Now the next thing I want to do, make sure I've got no ink on my fingers. So I'm going to get my masking tape from there. And place it here because this is where I'm going to have my branch coming in as you can see the branch is coming in from the side and I don't want any image on my white card I only want it on the card that I've made the background on so for safety, I'm just doing all of it and just follow the circle round so that you've got all of, you can always test you've got enough when you've got your image on there. Right, so I'm going to now place it over on this side. And I'm going to now get my image. I'm going to stamp. And I want Pan to be looking at this branch here. And then I'm going to have my little bunny under, my little hair under here. So I'm looking to see where that part of the branch is going. And then I'm looking to make sure that all my card is covered with masking tape. There we go. And I'm going to ink this part with VersaFine Clear Acorn. I love this colour for trees. One of my favourite colours when I'm doing branch trees and things like that. I think it makes them look really nice and realistic. And once again, I've got a little bit of pressed a little bit too hard again. I don't know why. Always check your ink so that you know you've been in the right places and not got no extra bits of ink on and then I'm just going to once again press down on the image that I'm inking up on my background I really love this um, cherry blossom branch I think it's absolutely lovely it's been around for quite a while used it quite a lot of times but I do like it especially for spring and summer cards right there's not much ink gone on there I have no idea why so let's re-ink again and this is what I like about these stamping platforms as well could never have done this a few years ago Pressing down a bit harder this time. And there we go. Maybe I didn't press down hard enough last time. So that's our two main main images done, the larger images. So now I'm going to stamp my little bunny. Oops. And he's going to go underneath our branch about there here we go and about there you'll never get two cards exactly the same you're virtually the same but unless you leave everything on your stamping platform and stamp it all at the same time they'll never sort of be in the right 
the same place. Not the right place because there is no right place. You just put them where they need to go. Remembering the rules of stamping. Flowers should always come in odd numbers. And the rule of three. And that stamp up our little hair. Ooh, not enough on his ear. down on his ear now. And there we go. That's him done. Now this is a nice quick card. And I'm going to remove my masking tape. And hopefully I didn't have no little gaps in. Oh, there we go. So I've got a nice round edge. Nothing went in it. So that is actually all our stamping done, really. So now we're just going to do the finishing touches to our card. So... For my flowers, I coloured them with a um, polychromo pencil, the pink one. It's called Rosa Pink. So I just gently went over. My ink is still a bit wet, actually, so to be a bit careful. So we just colour all our flowers in pink. Staying away from the main part of the ink just for the time being. Just to give you the idea of what to do. Because I don't want to smudge my ink. I will colour them in properly when they're dry. Maybe I should have done a blue Peter and had a dry one ready. Maybe that's a good idea for the next time. So colour all your flowers in with your pink pencil or whatever colour pencil you want. Don't have to use pencil, you can use um anything you like really. Um glitter pens, uh watercolours, um inks. You should use your distress oxides or your distress inks as a watercolour. The next thing I'm going to do. Oh I know what I forgot to get out. I forgot to put on my on my list, on my picture, I forgot to have the confetti ink on there. So now I'm going to use the confetti elements ink. Sorry about that. It will be on my list. So I'm just going to use that with my pink brush. I've written red on the red one, so I know it's the red one. And I'm using the laurel stencil so I'm just going to place my stencil over the corner of my card and I'm just going to gently brush off my ink as before I don't want too much ink I went a little bit overboard on the original card 
and then I'm just going to brush gently. around each corner of my card and then I'm going to pick up my stencil I'm going to turn my card and I'm going to do the same again here just brushing really gently Move that over there. And once again, just gent gently brush, very gently brush over the edge of your card. And that's our, our finished background there now. We've fin finished off our background. And we need to put the lid back on the ink. And I'm going to get my pink brush. And I'm just going to get a small piece of card. And then I'm just going to brush around the edges. Maybe need a little bit more ink. Just round the edges to bring your eye into the card again. And there we go. So just gently pick that up and wipe off my mat. And then dry my mat before placing my card back down. And now, what I did was I prepped some little, I would use them ones, I would use them ones there. I prepped a separate blossom so I can cut some little blossoms out and then using my little tiny pinhead glue let's make sure I've got a little bit coming out Going to place my first, ooh, not too much. My first little blossom there. Oops. My first little blossom is going there.
and then I want to have one by my rabbit, oh hair, sorry, a small one for the hair to look at. Maybe I should use a pair of tweezers. Seem to be able to find them. So one there for the hair to look at. And then the last one, whoops. I'm going to have just dropping onto the end of Pan's handle. Just have that one coming onto the end of Pam's handle. Bobby's little rucksack. Wipe up that glue. And then the last thing we need to do is to get our gold pen. And we're just highlighting. Around the edges of our branches and our flowers. And putting a gold dot in the middle. Just makes that final finishing touch to add some sparkle to your card because fairies do like a bit of sparkle don't they you can just pick it up and glitter it in the light and see where else you've got to go And just down there, and down there, and I'm just going to go around the edge of each flower. And that's my branch done. So now I'm just going to go around pan. Just follow around anywhere where the light might reflect and any other lines that you think you might need highlighting. And of course his little bag here that he's got his little treasures in. Oops. And then of course round his wing. Make his wing shimmer. you can see that sparkle and then just highlight the bunny trying to catch the reflection in his fur
And then I'll just get a little pencil and gently rub underneath. And rub with your finger to give you a bit of shadow. Just so that your looks grounded. And the same with Pan, just make him look like he's grounded. And that's our card. And then I'll give you the measurements for the mat and layering on the end of the video. But as you can see, we'll place that over there. And that would be your finished card. I hope you've enjoyed your, my tutorial. And I hope that you're all enjoying the extravaganza. And um, I would have loved to have been there with you all. But due to unforeseen circumstances, I wasn't able to make it this time. So have a nice weekend. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.